Okay, so what's up? Uh, haven't done these one of these for a while. Um, I'll just go through. I have a daily blog post where I write every single day. I've been writing the since 2020, so more than three years now, early 2020. And I've been writing every day since I was at zero dollars a month, no, a hundred, hundred dollars a month all the way up to today where I am around at around half a million per year so around 42,000 per month uh, and I've been sharing everything um, of course not everyone likes to read so lately I've been trying to record these videos where I just go through last week's blog posts and uh, maybe expand on them a little bit as well so, let's begin. July 24th, 2023. Having life figured out. Was told the other day that I have everything figured out. I was out, I was talking. I don't like talking about my, my business stuff that sometimes people ask and I don't say numbers of course, but uh, it might come across as something wow. Uh, so yeah, I was told that I have everything figured out. Uh, but it's not true uh, because I have everything figured out for now and maybe even right uh, in reality I could lose everything by next year like that is that is a possibility you know it can happen it's a non-zero possibility so it's a good intellectual exercise and philosophical exercise to think about that and actually try to pretend that it is likely to happen as well uh, because life is unpredictable and uh, on one hand you can argue that that is what makes it beautiful you know like dancing in uncertainty is true confidence for me and uh, happiness uh, yeah anyway like the Stoics say everything you have is borrowed uh, you don't own anything uh, and actually it's literal if you extrapolate it all the way to the end of your life uh, it's literal because you take nothing with you uh, so who cares that was the first one the next one is July 25th 2023 Stoicism versus Epicureanism so I used to be, I still am, I still am a huge fan of, Sto of Stoicism. I have a Stoic philosopher on my on my arm, like I, I love the philosophy behind it. Uh, however, as with everything, you need balance, you know, and the, the point is not to become a cold Stoic that denies the human nature, because there's something very, some, sometimes you can mi misinterpret Stoicism as it being embracing your logical side and denying your emotional side which to a point is actually true which is why lately i've been falling in love with epicureanism which was the opposite school of thought at the same time in the same city in ancient athens you had like the stoics and you had the epicureans where you know, the Epicureans were all about embracing our emotions and our human nature and the fact that we have one life and maybe the meaning of life is to enjoy this life, you know? So, yeah, uh, the point is not to become a cold stoic that denies the human nature. It's a tool to try to approach a situation rationally. But we should embrace our emotions because they are what make us human. Uh, I'm really in love with Epicureanism later. That was the second blog post. Um, blog post number three, July 26th, 2023, changing your mind. I remember once my mother told me that I changed my mind easily. And she said that as if it was a bad thing. Uh, you change your mind so easily, Alex. This actually wasn't that far, that long ago. This was like a few months ago because Actually, I should be wearing my sunglasses now because I had, this was the reason we talked about this, I had laser eye surgery and I was always changing my mind whether I should do it, whether I shouldn't do it. Uh, 
and at some point my mother was like oh oh my god like just you know like you change your mind because I, initially i didn't want to do it and then i said okay i will um but you know i don't see it as a negative thing if anything i think changing your mind is a very good quality to have i know good is kind of a weird label but for me it's good at least right? you know it's good to have a mind that is able to change you know because the older we get the less plastic our brain becomes it's like you you give an 18 year old a book to read and you can it's like throwing a grenade in their skull and you can change your life their life whereas if you give the same book to someone who is 60 it is very different to change their life like giving frame-breaking ideas to uh, someone that's older it's harder to make an impact that way uh, but anyway on the other hand like imagine if we never changed our minds if we believe today the same things we believed when we were 16 that would be scary because at least I know for myself like I was an idiot when I was 16 uh, yeah uh, and now tying back to the previous blog post, you know, like I was huge into stoicism and I still am. Uh, and I am also trying to expand my mind beyond that and embrace the opposing school of thought at the same time, which is Epicureanism. So I think changing our mind is very important and uh, a fantastic quality to have. July 27th, alarm clocks. So when I wrote this, I woke up with an alarm clock and there was something I had to do uh, and I set an alarm clock and honestly, you know, there's so many positives to being self-employed and running your own business and being financially independent and location independent and all those nice stuff. But I, I swear, at least for me, there's nothing like waking up naturally every morning. Uh, it's a signal of true wealth for me uh, and uh, something I hate <laughs> doing, always hated this since I was in school and uh, I, I assume you too, you know, like I don't think this is um, controversial what I'm saying. Uh, and then the last blog post for this week is called Photography. Uh, July 28th, 2023, photography. So I'm not sure if you can tell because I've added to my blog post images now and I'm uploading an image every day alongside my, my daily blog post. Uh, but I have fallen in love with photography lately. Um, I, actually, I bought a camera. <laughs> is this one here it's it's insanely good uh, and it has inspired me to take photographs again after so many like i've traveled the world with my phone and i haven't taken any photos but with this here like i've taken more photos in the two weeks i have it than i had all my life previously it just inspires me so much to take photos and one thing i have noticed is that you know taking photos of other people is that People look the best, at their best appearance-wise, when they are not trying. Uh, so when they are focused, when they are deep in thought, when they are not trying to become, you know, like more uh, handsome or beautiful. And even, yeah, anyway, that's it. Uh, so that was the, the weekly update. Uh, revenue is around half a million. I'm kind of stuck here. but. It was mainly because this year I haven't been pushing hard. Uh, I'm planning to reach 1 million per year by the end of this year. We're halfway through the year. So I appreciate you following the journey and I'll be updating you here every week. So that's it. Yeah. Peace out.